Spanning 14 kilometers, this sled run in Austria is one of the world's longest and plays host to a unique race. My mission, as always, take part as a complete novice. Anyone can enter in the race, but this event attracts the best tobogganists who face off on the impressive piste. Everyone will make it down, it's just a question of how and when. Growing up, my favourite winter activity was going tobogganing, but anyone who thinks it's all child's play has never been to this race. It takes place in the Austrian town of Bramberg, or rather on the Wildkogel mountain. I've arrived a day early in order to get in a test run with a hired sled. Kasper is kitting me out with the right equipment. Helmets are optional, but definitely a good idea. <laughs> In contrast to skiing, there's no special training. I've taken the last gondola lift up, now there is just one way down. Well, the sun is setting now, but it doesn't matter because this is officially the world's biggest lit sled run. This late in the day, the piste is icy and full of bumps and trenches. But I'm not left to my own devices. Roman Kohl is a passionate tobogganist and a leading authority when it comes to sled runs. I've got a few questions and bruises after my first bumpy ride. Ja, hast du gerade gecrashed oder? Ja, nee, ist ein bisschen hinten rein, aber was mehr weh tut, sind die Huckel. Ich, ich fliege halt immer richtig hoch und dann ja, ja, ein bisschen schlitten, ja. Fahr die einfach um, fahr die Huckel. Ja, aber ich meine, hier ist ja... Wo? Und dann bremsen. Easier said than done. Das Rodeln gibt es ja schon sehr lange, aber wie, wie lang eigentlich? Woher kommt diese Tradition und wie lange gibt es die denn schon? Also 1880 oder irgendwie sowas ist in Davos das erste Rodelrennen ausgeführt worden. Der klassische Davoser Schlitten ist weiterentwickelt worden zu äh, beweglichen Rodeln, dass man, dass man einfach ähm, ein vernünftiges Sportgerät hat und damit noch mehr Spaß. Roman accompanies me down the now dark piste. Luckily, it's lit, but it is quite hard to see and the conditions are very poor. It takes me a long time to get down, but I've had my first taste ahead of tomorrow's race. The next day, I'm up bright and early to register and get ready for the race. Overnight, the piste has been flattened and should be good as new. My mentor Roman will also be taking part and joins me on my way up to the starting line. He's certainly more confident than I am. In the night it was cold, so the wheels are going to be very fast. So under a half an hour, as far as I know, it's already in there. Okay, and KMH, what can we expect there? Um, KMH is hard to guess. I can imagine so 60, 70. Can we get in the fast passages? That is seriously fast. So I, I feel pretty nervous uh, right now because last night was a pretty bumpy ride. I've been told the race is going to be quite different. The conditions will be a lot better, but I'm just hoping that my brakes, i.e. my feet, will work. The view from up here is daunting. Last night's run didn't fill me with confidence, but it's time to say goodbye vertigo, hello snow. It seems like I'm the only person concerned as the other participants, young and old, are looking forward to the breakneck speeds. Ich bin natürlich als Kind, als Allgäuerin sozusagen mit dem Rodel auf die Welt kommen, gell? Ja, okay. <laughs> ja. Ich kenne die Bahn, für mich ist das die beste Bahn von ganz Europa und es gibt nichts Besseres. 
Die weltbeste ever. Super. Die weltbeste. Bremsen, wenn es schnell wird. <lacht> Before I'm off, I'll get a quick crash course on how to brake and steer. Bremsen mit der flachen Sohle auf den Boden. Und dann drückst du mit dem linken Fuß an dem Hörndel. Du ziehst am Innenstahlseil und lehnst dich in die Kurve rein. Over 100 people are racing against the clock. The race is now underway. Every 30 seconds a competitor takes off. Starting at number 61, I'm right in the thick of it. I don't feel ready at all. Tell my family I love them. The conditions today are great. Barely a bump in sight. And I'm starting to pick up some real pace, much sooner than I thought. I can brake, and I'm slowly starting to trust my steering skills. So <laughs> I've done about half the race now, and I'm slowly getting the hang of it. It is just basically muscle memory, but... Uh, yeah, it's quite scary. The big corners you really have to break because um, I've seen some people, I've seen some people steer through them, but I don't know how. My newfound confidence has allowed me to speed up considerably and actually enjoy the stunning views and adrenaline rush. Against my own predictions, I'm having fun and understand why so many people are flocking to sled runs in winter. Well, that was amazing. Sometimes it was a little bit like riding a wild animal, uh, sometimes a bit like driving a speeding car without any brakes. I did get used to it a little bit more by the end, and I feel really good now. In the end, pretty much everyone was faster than me. The winner needed just 14 minutes for 14 kilometers. My time was about double that. Now, I've set my sights on another winter adventure.